Hey everybody, this is Rebel Builder and I have another version of the Republic Gunship. This time it's an alternate build of the 2013 set number 75021. This version is for the 104th Clone Battalion, otherwise known as the Wolf Pack. The colors of the Wolf Pack are gray and black, so this time I decided to do the gunship in light bluish gray and dark bluish gray. At first I didn't think I was going to be excited about this color combination. You know, the dark bluish gray, light bluish gray, you know, that's a very standard uh, Star Wars color combination. And I thought it would be too subdued without the bright colors or even, you know, I've done blue and I've done orange and some green too. But really, I'm happy with how this one turned out. It's a very military looking color combination and it just really fits the wolf pack well. You know, with these alternate builds, there's always compromises on parts and colors. I can't get every part in every color I would like. But we'll start up here with the main cannons and engines. So I have a section of dark bluish gray here and some flat silver on these cannons. I like that look and light bluish gray through here with a ring of black. You can see the stripes of dark bluish gray along here and here on the wingtips. You know, that's standard to what the set had. I added a little tile here, some curved slopes here, just trying to give it some more color. Now this wedge slope piece here, this was one of those challenges I talked about. I didn't have any of those in dark bluish gray, which kind of surprised me. But I found this piece on a different set that had this big dark gray sticker. So that worked really well in this situation. So as a little bonus, can anybody tell me what set that comes from? We've got some extra dark gray detailing here in the back of the ship. And the dark gray works really well on these doors on the side. The side of these doors is another example here where I added a little customization you know, just a round slope on there to add some more uh, contrast. And dark bluish gray here on the front too. I did not do the lime green that's on the main set. And as far as the alternate builds I've done of the Republic gunship, this cockpit section always offers the most challenges. Back here, you know, this is normally a four by three, I think it's a curved slope wedge. So I have two halves of four by twos there. This front section here, you know, I was able to put these panels in here, you know, the cheese slopes, but I had to do a little section here with some two by one cheese slopes just because I didn't have the parts. You can also see that I've got the standard clone pilots in here. Now, if you're really paying attention to my clone troopers in this video, you notice that I don't have a full squad of the real clone troopers here on the left with that really awesome wolf pack insignia on the top of the helmet. So I wanted to have some more. I only had three of those real guys. So I went and took some of my normal clone troopers, put dark bluish gray arms on them, and they fit really well. You know, you can kind of pretend that these guys are new to the squad and haven't been able to, you know, paint their insignia on the top of the helmet. And I think they match in pretty well. And another note about these guys, these guys are holding blasters from Clone Army Customs. They make really cool Clone Wars era blasters for these guys. I really like including those in my Clone Wars era builds. This alternate build really surprised me. I didn't expect to like this color combination of this ship this much. You know, this is a very subdued military looking version. It's not flashy like the 212th or the 501st, you know, the blue or the orange versions I've done in the past. But the 104th Clone Battalion, the Wolf Pack, they definitely needed to be honored with their own Republic gunship. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Let's have a discussion about this guy. Thumbs up this video as always. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'm always working hard on new videos like this one. You don't wanna miss out on those. And thanks everybody for supporting me. It really means a lot. So thanks for watching everybody. I'll be back soon.